What's up, YouTube? I'm Caleb Jones back at it again with another video. Today's video is I'm gonna show y'all my 2023 lawn care setup. So, enough with the talking, let's get into the video and hopefully, y'all like my setup. Um, nothing really changed from last year, just upgraded the truck. So, uh, yeah, enough with the talking, let's get into the video and show y'all my setup, okay? All right, so the truck is a 2019 GMC 2500 HD. Uh, I bought this truck last year. Um, like I said, it's a 2019, it's got 42,000 miles on it when I bought it, I had 28,000 miles on it. So, uh, man, it's just a, a awesome, great work truck, nothing too crazy, super simple. Of course, you got dirt from everyday work, but man, it's just been an awesome truck so far. And I'm telling you, once you go 2500 over 1500, you'll never go back. My next 2500 will definitely be a diesel, but this thing is awesome. I'm happy I made this purchase. The trailer, I'm still rocking the same trailer as last year, which is a 6x12 enclosed trailer, it's a tandem axle. Um, it's got electric brakes on it. This has been an awesome trailer. I was thinking about going to a 7x14, but having a 6x12 is just a perfect size because somebody looks at this trailer like, oh, it's super small. There might not be a lot of stuff in there. So it kind of cuts down on somebody trying to steal the stuff out of your trailer, if that makes any sense. Here you go, guys. These are the blowers that we're running with this year. These are the new Husqvarna 580BT Mark 3s. Awesome blowers. This is number one. And I got number two right here. Um, they're both held in by the green touch racks. You can lock the racks, make sure nobody don't steal your equipment when you're on the job site. I mean, Husqvarna makes a great product. I love these blowers. I uh, couldn't be more thrilled and just so happy with this product. I tried that GIE, they were so powerful. I was so, went out and bought two of them. As far as the string trimmers, I run the Husqvarna 525Ls. They're just great string trimmers. I've been rocking with these since day one. I try to steal weed eater, but man, it's just too heavy on your back. These are super light. They have all the power in the world that you need. This is a 525L Edger also, which I never use because I keep three string trimmers on the trailer at all time and I do most of my edging with my string trimmer. So like I said, man, 525L is the way to go. I promise you Husqvarna will never let you down. But everybody knows Johnny Blazes and Grass on YouTube. He put me on these. These are the battery head trimmers. These are the 520HI E3s, which Husqvarna's got these crazy names. But I promise you, these battery head trimmers are so awesome. They really are. They definitely get the job done. But one thing I will tell you, they will not cut shrubs that are super thick. Anything that's overgrown or super thick, other than lower peplums, they will not cut. They'll cut boxwoods, but some other shrubs that are super, super thick, like hollies and stuff, you will not cut them with these. So like I said, these are just for maintaining the shrubs. But I would not use these if something's like super overgrown. I'll use the gas power one. But like I said, for day-to-day -day use, for maintenance, these things are awesome. Something cool about my trailer also, um, if you can tell I got LED lights in here, but I also have this vent and you come right here and you push a button and it turns the fan completely on and it sucks all the heat out of the trailer in the summertime, sucks all the fumes out so you have to get vapor lock. I spent about $300 getting this thing put in, worth every penny. Super awesome, if you want to turn it off, just hit the button. Same thing with the LEDs, you just come over here, hit the light switch on the wall and turn them on and I have a remote to change the colors to any color I want so yeah you know if you're gonna do it do it right and at night time I'm out here cleaning and I want the trailer to look good just turn the LED lights on hit the switch and we get to go and I'm actually about to redo my floor because this epoxy held up for a whole year but you can tell I got a couple spots here and there so I'm about to redo my floor here and um, probably over the weekend or next week that's been super busy so but I mean it's definitely held up it's, done, it's definitely done its job for sure over here we have like a little uh, handheld blower that I use just to blow out the trailer at the end of the day, get the leaves out, pine straw, dust. Uh, this one is the 436 LIB. It's a great little blower. Uh, again, shout out to Johnny Blazing Grass. He rocks with one of these. I gave it a try. I'm super happy with it. So thanks Johnny and thanks Husqvarna. Also, I mounted this little green touch rack um, toolbox. Got extra batteries in there, got extra blades in there, extra heads. Stuff for spraying for mosquitoes, your tools, change out your edger blades some bar oil and let me show you something. This right here is the best product in the world. For all y'all long here guys to get tired of trimming shrubs, um, I mean, this is the way to go. A gross regulator, you spray it on the shrub to slow down the growth for like two or three months. So if you're on a property and you maintain the property and you're charging them monthly and you don't want to prune the shrubs every time you're there, I recommend getting you some of this because a lot of my properties, I use this on my shrubs and guess what? I still get paid and I don't have to trim the shrubs every time I'm there. This is a great product, it's expensive, but it's so worth the money, I promise you. Another thing, this right here, you can actually buy this at Tractor Supply. It's called RM43. Man, this stuff works better than the Lesco Prosecutor. This product 
I want to say this jug is like forty five dollars, but I promise you, if you spray this on any vegetation, you it will not come back for a whole year. I didn't believe it. I gave it a try. Just don't get it on the grass, cause if you do, the lawn's gonna be dead. But vegetation, overgrown vines, this product works crazy good. It's like forty five bucks. Get you some. Get you some. <laughs> I run the sure can gas cans uh, for all my mixed gas. I keep these full at all times. Uh, they're two and a half gallons. Uh, just you put your gas in there, put your still oil in there, or whatever oil you're using for your mix. Keep them full, super convenient. Just open the door, stick the blower in there, push this down, hit the handle, and you fill it right up. And it's just it's so convenient. Every lawn care guy probably has one. I'm sure you see them all over YouTube um, and at GIE, but great gas can. They're expensive, but it's worth the money. It makes your life just a little bit easier. And we all know time is money, baby. This is a storm backpack sprayer. Um, this backpack sprayer stays in here all the time. I only use this in the winter time to do my trimming for turf painting. Uh, like this is a battery backpack sprayer also. I was gonna say it's a couple hundred bucks. Definitely worth the money. Make your life a whole lot easier. For those guys that are using those pump sprayers, y'all need to put them things in retirement and spend the money equipment cheap and get you one of these. And then over here in the corner, we just got another little battery pack uh, hedge trimmer. I use this to trim like super small boxwoods. Uh, where it's kind of hard and tight spaces. These things are awesome. Definitely worth the money. Great little head trimmers. As far as mowers, <clears throat> I'm a right guy. Um, I bought this last year at the beginning of the year. Um, this is a right 36 inch standard B. It has 8.7 hours on it. I never really use it. I got a couple customers that have small yards I use it on. But other than that, um, I'm using the, the uh, standard X 52 at all times. But this little mower is awesome. Perfect for getting through backyards. It has a mulching kit on it. Uh, definitely stays in the trailer at all times. So, shout out to Wright for making such a great product. I love this little mower. I'm definitely gonna buy me another one this year also. Next up for my main mower, we have the Wright Standard X. It has twills on it, and it has airless front tires, so you never have to worry about a flat. This has been an awesome mower. I purchased this thing at the beginning of last year too. Great mower, and as of right now, we have 79.8 hours on it. So. This has been an awesome mower. And I uh, guess what? I'm buying another one here in about two weeks from Master Mowers out of Atlanta. All right, so that's pretty much my setup. Um, those are the main things I run all the time. I also have a dump trailer, uh, which is a six by 12. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see that. Um, also have like four other mowers and I just bought a mini skid steer Kubota SEL 1000 because I don't just do lawn care. I do lawn care, weed control, we cut trees, uh, we do a lot of sod irrigation. I do the whole nine yards. I'm not just a, a strictly lawn care guy. I know some people's like, hey, you know, we strictly do lawn care. Well, that's cool, but I live in Columbia, South Carolina. I like money just like anybody else. I like to stay busy throughout the winter time. So if you're just cutting uh, grass all the time, I mean, that's a great business. I started off doing that. This February will be my third year. But I noticed in my business here in Columbia, South Carolina, more people want landscaping jobs than just a grass cut. So, you know, I offer a service that we do everything. Like they say, one call, we do it all. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, we do a lot of landscaping jobs. So it's such a blessing to be able to do this every day. I'm truly blessed. Uh, I can't thank God enough. So I put all the glory to him. And I mean, thanks for watching. Sometimes I get tongue twisted because I get super happy and super excited just to, you know, share my story with other people. Um, so yeah, and, you know, I started from the bottom. I'm here and every day is a blessing so that's all i can say uh make sure you follow your boy on instagram right here at caleb caleb 23 like always to the next video adios thanks for watching and hopefully y'all enjoy my setup and uh yo 2023 is gonna be a good year get out there and make it happen um i'm gonna tell you the sky's the limit never take no for an answer and just go out there and work hard and you can be super successful in this business just show up answer the phone and do a good job those three things and you'll make some money so make it happen